Has anything strange happened around here lately? Many strange things are happening these days, but none as strange as the mysterious disappearance of Pardos. He's one of my field workers, and certainly not the kind who would drop everything overnight and slink off just like that, you see. What exactly is so strange about his disappearance? Pardos is such a timid sort. The furthest he's ever been from the farm is to the end of my fields. He would run away at the mere sight of a meat bug. Those things may not be pretty to look at, but you really couldn't call them dangerous. They say there's people who eat them. Gross. You get used to it. Maybe he was simply fed up. Working in the fields was his life. I cannot imagine him having gone to work for another farmer. With me, he could do whatever he wanted. Any clues at all? I think those bandits must have dragged him off. They've been roaming around this area for days now. I once saw them drag a citizen of the town off to their camp. It looked like they were gonna make him a slave. Where is this bandit camp? At the far end of my fields, some steps lead down to a small hollow. That's where they have made themselves at home. I'd like to go look for Pardos there, but there's no way I'm going up against those guys. And you had better give them a wide berth too. They're not known for their sense of humor. Were the bandits carrying weapons when they passed by here? What kind of stupid question is that? How would they be bandits if they weren't armed? I mean a whole load of weapons, a big delivery. I see. Yes. Now that you mention it, they were carrying lots and lots. Some in barrels, some in bags, and some on the cart they brought. You're employing day laborers? Onar sends away the workers he can't use on his farm. Then, he sends them to me. I feed them and they work here for me. What have you got against the royal troops? It's obvious. There hasn't been any improvement now that the paladins are in the city. Just the opposite. Now these cursed militiamen come onto our land even more often and steal everything they can. And the paladins don't do a darn thing about it. The only paladins that I've ever seen are the two guards at the pass. <laughs> they wouldn't budge an inch, even if the militia slaughtered us all. Alright, now. Go over here, and you can find the second treasure location. Simple enough. I think I've found something. Okay, now I'm just gonna check if. Never mind, there's no uh, stone tablet here. So let's go back to uh, Bengar's farm. There's uh, two. Oh, I'm gonna finish talking to Bengar hey. first. The pass? Yeah, the pass to the old valley of mines by the waterfalls at the other end of the high pastures. Ask Malik about it. He was there a couple times last week. Alright, I'm probably going to finish the episode here though, because I'm like, I can't even talk properly anymore, and uh, it's probably 2am now, or close to 2am. So yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. So in the next episode, I'm going to be pretty much completing the Bandit's Weapons quest, as well as becoming mercenary and getting a Ring of Water armor, so also becoming a member of the Ring of Water, as well as helping out Greg, so quite a bit of stuff to do tomorrow. So yeah, have fun, see you later. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play God's 2 Night the Rave Heights Power Mod. Okay, so let's begin where we left off, and the next person I'm going to talk to is Malak. Who's pretty much the only other person I can talk to on Bengar's farm? Everything all right? Yet another day laborer who doesn't know where to go? No problem. Talk with our farmer Bengar. Where can I find the pass to the old Valley of Mines? Near the two waterfalls on the other side of the high pastures. 
What are you doing here? I'm the shepherd here. It's not exactly a demanding job. But now and then, you really have to watch out. Especially if you get too close to the pass. What do you know about the pass? Not much. Just that it leads to the old Valley of Mines that was surrounded by the barrier until a few weeks ago. Back then, the only thing we farmers had to be afraid of was the monthly caravan that took all kinds of goods to the Valley of Mines. Those cutthroats often made life difficult for us out here. What is it they say about the Valley of Mines? All sorts of things. Some of the boys say they've heard screams at night. Some have seen strange lights over the mountains. But if you ask me, it's all just old wives' tales. Have you ever been to the Valley of Mines? No. But I go near the pass once in a while. Then I always see those two paladins who stand around and keep watch. It looks like they're making sure that nothing comes out of the valley. Back then, the Valley of Mines was a natural prison. If you went in, you never came out again. Tell me more about the paladins. How long have they been posted there? A week or two, I suppose. I don't know exactly. Some time ago, there was even a whole troop of them that disappeared into the pass. Since then, I haven't seen them again. I don't see any women here at all. You got that right. This is a man's farm, so to speak. Works pretty well, I think. Don't work too hard. I'll try. All right, so let's go to the pass because there's uh, one quest there, very easy quest, as well as another location of the treasure of Greg's treasure. So be careful if you're going through here. Sometimes there's a few enemies that can attack you, uh, kind of unexpectedly. I'm just gonna take care of these two scavengers. Assuming I can. There we go. Now lurkers I think are a bit more difficult to kill, especially at my level. So time to heal up. Come on. There we go. And now let's go attack some lurkers. See how this works out for me. There we go. And now one more lurker. Two more, actually. I'd rather not attack two at once. Obvious reasons. And now attack this lurker. Here is the uh, treasure. Nothing to be had there. Now this next quest is probably one of the harder ones uh, of chapter one, especially if you don't have an ice block scroll. Uh, I think I've But with an something. ice block scroll and a powerful weapon such as uh, Kensai's, it's a fairly simple quest. But still, be careful, especially if you're a first time player. So what you want to do is equip Ice Block, and as you can see, there's a Snorting Dragon Snapper. Now, Dragon Snappers themselves are one of the toughest enemies in the game, and just use the uh, block of ice on him, and just keep slashing at him. Now, as you can see, they have quite a bit of HP, a ridiculous amount of HP, actually. And they are also, they also uh, have a very high XP payout, even higher than some quests, in fact, uh, 700 XP, which just shows how difficult they are to kill. Now, once killed, uh, you can do it the proper way, like actually get the quest and then kill the, uh, the Snorting Dragon Snapper, but there's no real difference, you can just kill it now and complete the quest uh, just by spamming dialogue. So make sure you also go around here. There's several interesting uh, plants you can find, such as two meta knotweeds. So that's always good. And yeah, now let's go to the pass, the entrance to the pass. 
and talk to uh, Garn, who's the hunter trying to kill the snorting dragon snapper. Now, there's also stone tablets somewhere around here. I don't remember the exact location, but I know that there's one. I'm not even 100% sure about this one, but I'm pretty sure there's one in that center aisle over here. Or not. Just a matter of not weed. Also helpful. Now, I'll just head on here. Oh, and yes, uh, there's another stone tablet found hidden somewhere around here. It's... there we go. Found it. Just take that. Here are the two paladins that uh, Malak and Bengo were talking about. And there is Garn the Hunter. That horrible animal is dead, I assume. Then I can finally hunt freely again. Yeah, I didn't even ask for the quest. I want to even see if the quest is complete. Nope, it's not. So hey, let's talk you. to him and get the quest, hopefully. How's the hunting? I can't complain. You've got a lot of space up here. It's nice enough. But if you go through the pass back there, you won't think so much longer. <laughs> if this little tract of land has impressed you, then wait till you see the Valley of Mines back there. Why are you looking so solemn? You're wearing our aquamarine ring. You belong to the Ring of Water? I certainly do. Good to see a new face in our ranks. What's your task within the Ring of Water? I keep an eye on the entrance to the pass, to see who goes in and out. Since the paladins have closed the gate to the pass, however, there hasn't been much coming and going. Have you heard of those missing people? Of Course I have. That's why we're supposed to keep our eyes open. But I haven't seen much that would give you a clue, to tell you the truth. What do I need to know about the Valley of Mines? No idea. I've only taken a fleeting glance at the valley. Look pretty dangerous. The best thing to do if you go there, through the pass, is to stay close to the beaten track. Either you take the way through the big gorge or the road over the stone bridge. That one is shorter and safer. Now that the orcs are roaming all over the place, you have to be a bit careful. I don't want to have to drag you to the Herb Witch. Herb Witch? Her name is Sagita. And she's the healer for the farmers and the other people who live outside the harbor city. A truly curious female. No one really likes going to her and everybody enjoys gossiping about her. But if you're sick, you won't find better help than Sagita in her kitchen full of healing herbs. You'll find her in the strip of woods behind Sekub's farm. Can you teach me about hunting? No problem. For a hundred gold coins, I can show you how to gut the animals you bring down. Pelts and other trophies bring a lot of money in the market. Alright, well, I guess I can't get the quest, but I still completed it because I got the actual XP payout, so I'm happy. Anyways, uh, I've already got three out of the four treasures of uh, Greg. So, the final one... Uh, I'm just first gonna skip this part. I'm just gonna kill all the enemies around here so it makes my life easier. But the final one is a pretty obvious one and I'll show you after I've killed all these enemies. Alright, uh, just a quick little update on my killing skills. Uh, if you walk down the path from uh, the dead harpy and you walk down here, just keep walking down, just take a small uh, detour through this uh, small lake system, river system, whatever it is, and just pick up this uh, stone tablet. So I'm not exactly sure where it is, but still helpful. So yeah, let me continue on killing. 